It is another busy day in Washington, and right now all eyes are on Capitol Hill. Two hours from now, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will address Congress. House Republicans invited him to speak as the war between Israel and Hamas rages on. And Netanyahu's visit is having a big impact, causing road closures and protests. We have live team coverage ahead of this afternoon's speech. Both Rafael Sanchez Cruz and Matt Gregory are monitoring the situation outside the Capitol. Rafa, let's go ahead and start with you. You know, we can hear the crowd and there's quite a few people around where you are. Bring us up to speed. Simone, you can hear the crowd. We are an hour into this protest on Pennsylvania Avenue that's closed at least four blocks. I want to show you, we're talking about thousands of people, and the crowd just keeps on growing. So right now, six intersections around the U.S. Capitol are completely blocked off with ongoing demonstrations. I've been speaking to protesters who are just as upset at Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as they are at American members of Congress who have invited the Israeli Prime Minister to address Congress. Now, this is a diverse group of people made up of those with Palestinian roots, members of the Jewish community, and others who say they are outraged with what's going on in Gaza. Let's listen. It is a slap in the face for this administration, for both parties to be hosting someone who's wanted by the International Criminal Court uh, for the role that he's played in, in the massacre of the Palestinian people in Gaza. And so our responsibility today is to show mass grassroots anger at this administration's ongoing funding and arming of this genocide. So we're almost two hours away from Netanyahu's address in Congress. This group says they will remain here and they want to make it very clear that they are against his invitation. Again, we're talking about multiple demonstrations going on around Capitol Hill with a huge police presence that includes law enforcement officers from across the country. We will continue our coverage at 4, 5, and 6 live on Capitol Hill. I'm Rafael Santos Cruz, WUSA 9. They say there are six intersections blocked off around the Capitol, so heads up on that. Of course, there are also protesters on the other side of all this, and our Matt Gregory is covering that angle for us today. Matt, let's head out to you. Tell us what you're seeing. So what we're seeing, Simone, is right now, as you're coming to me, we've got one of the union uh, leaders speaking about uh, their seven different unions across the United States that also signed on a letter that is being sent to the President Biden about ending the war in Gaza. To give you an idea of what we're seeing, I want to show you as we push in. There are thousands of people. You can see the signs. It is a sea of signs. There are groups that are Jewish that are saying, stop arming Israel, seeing all sorts of different things happening here. Now, as far as any counter protesters, I've not seen any of that uh, quite yet. There's one or two groups, and we did speak to an Israeli, and I'll have more on what he had to say coming up tonight. But remember, this is all because of Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu's speech that'll be going on just over their shoulders at the Capitol today. And the person presiding over this, actually, will be a Maryland senator, Ben Cardin. Senator Cardin is going to be presiding over the joint session. And we talked to him this morning to get an idea of where he stands this, because as you can see, this is a contentious issue. It is an issue that has both sides very uh, loudly and proudly out protesting Israel's war in Gaza, as well as people supporting the war in Gaza. And we wanted to hear from Senator Cardin what he hoped this meeting with Benjamin Net coming to D.C. could do. Please take a listen closely. Hopefully an opportunity to advance the peace process in the Middle East, to get the hostages released, to, to find a path forward uh, so that uh, the Palestinians and Israelis can live together in peace. Uh, there has been differences between what the Prime Minister Netanyahu wants and what uh, we think is the right path forward. Now, if you're wondering why there's just a bit of a delay here, by the way, there are so many people, there are thousands, and they all are using cell phones, and we happen to run our live units off these cell towers. So this is why we're seeing a little bit of slowdown. Anyway, getting back to it, as you can see, there's a whole group of people that are joined here. We haven't seen, like I said, many counter-protesters, but we will be here throughout the day. We're also going to be checking out, as the day goes on, some of those areas, because the speakers have been talking about the roads that are shut down. It looks like we have heard reports of arresting there. We'll find more. We'll bring it to you. And then also this afternoon, please tune in and watch because we will have an Israeli who is visiting in D.C. giving us his perspective on the war. And I'll tell you this, he does not agree with Prime Minister Benjamin or these protesters. I'll explain in several hours. But for now, 
at Constitution of Pennsylvania Avenue downtown. I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you. As Matt was showing us, thousands of protesters also expect that increased security presence. We've had hundreds of officers brought in from NYPD to help with this protest today. Matt, we'll check in with you for more later. Thank you.